Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom. This time I want to show you two ways how you can play melodies with just one drum pad. This is most useful for live performance, either if you want to play with an electronic drum kit or if you want to play live as a controllerist, but you could technically use this for whatever you want. I'm going to show you two ways how to achieve this. The first requires Max for Life and is with a free Max for Life device called Triggertune that is available on my website. I'm going to put a link in the description below. And for the second one, you can even do this with Life Lite. Okay, so I already have a drift bass preset because the most likely use case is that you might want to play bass lines alongside the drums. And then I also have the trigger tune, the Max for Life device that we're going to use in the first approach. The way this can be used is either to map the step or you could also map the reset on top of that. But when we don't actually need this for the way we're going to do it. And then you can use up to 16 steps. So up to 16 MIDI notes that can be played. But I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to set it to 4. And then I'm going to unfold this here. So I have all MIDI notes available. And then I'm going to set this to A. This to G is fine. And then the last one maybe to E. And so right now I can just play anything and I have to arm the track. And then you can just continue. You can also set the velocity. So I could say, okay, I want this at the highest. These are the around 100. And this may be a little bit lower than that. And then if you like, you can also set the duration. So right now it's not playing out. I'm going to keep it this way. And as you could hear and see, this actually starts from C3. So we're going to have to add a pitch MIDI effect. And we can see if this is fine. Or if we want to set it to... I think I'm going to keep it at minus 12. And then all we have to do is take a drum rack. I'm going to take the classic and drop the 808 in here. And we're going to grab all of these devices and maybe add this to the claves. And so now every time this is triggered, this triggers the bass. And that's the first option that you have. I just quickly want to mention that I also have a premium Max for Life MIDI effect available that is called Drum Articulate. I'm just going to add this to the first MIDI track here where you can have the same thing happening and you can also decide on the input. A few more features than in Trigger Tune just for Node Row, but you also have flams. You can randomize the velocity, you have beat repeat, or like note repeating, humanize the velocity and then do some more intricate designs. I'm going to link the video above and in the description below and also the life pack. And so for the second option, we're first going to have to create a MIDI clip with the melody that we want played. So I'm going to create a MIDI clip in here. So let's widen the grid so that it's easier to set the notes. I can actually set it to scale and then C major and then turn scale on here as well. And then we had A, G and E. Let's play this. I'm actually going to take this down an octave. Okay, so when we have the melody the way we want it to be played in the end, we're going to have to record this into another audio track. So for this, we need to route the audio from the track into the audio track and arm it. And that's it already. And then we can stop these clips. 
And I'm gonna grab a simpler and add it to the second MIDI track. Set this to the slice mode already and then drop the recorded audio clip in there. And now it's already sliced just the way we need it because it's sliced by transient by default. And then the only thing we need before we can drop it into the drum rack is the random MIDI effect. I'm going to just drop that below. I'm going to set the chance to 100% so that it'll always generate a new MIDI note. And then since we have a melody of just four notes, I'm going to set choices to four. And then mode I'm going to set to alternating so that it'll actually cycle through. So basically this is ro round robin behavior. If you're interested in round robins, I have a video that I'm going to link above as well and in the description below. So if you have more intricate melodies, you can set the choices to up to 24. If you need more than that, you can use scale, which functions as a multiplicator and just set this to two. And this way you can get up to 48 MIDI notes that can be cycled through. And then we're gonna have to make sure that the sign is add because otherwise it's not gonna work the way we intend. And then I'm gonna create a new MIDI track. I'm actually gonna go back in here and just rename this bass melody so that we know what we have in the end. And then I'm gonna grab the 808 again and drop it into the new MIDI track. And then select both random and simpler and add them in here. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is go here into the chains and turn in out on as well, because we're gonna have to go in here and the note that is supposed to be played has to be C1 because the slicing mode in the simpler actually starts with C1. And now... Still really quiet. So we're gonna go here and set this to zero. And now we can just play this live as well while we're playing the other drum pads. That's it already. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Until then, bye.